Our in-depth coverage of this tragic accident continues tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Sherry is live in Newport now with reaction from the close-knit community. Well, locals and tourists visit this area of the harbor because of its beauty and view of the harbor. Now, the idea of a car driving off the dock is baffling to many people that have come down here. The area inside the Newport shipyard where expensive yachts are docked and repaired is private and for the most part off limits to the public. The location where a car went off a dock Friday morning and ended up upside down in the water killing three adult women is drawing concern and questions among locals. Jack Brunell of Newport was fishing at the dock the night before the tragedy, he says, between 10.30 and 11.30 p.m. He says it was a clear night and at that time fog was not an issue. I'm just curious why, uh, why they ended up in the water. They have been blocked off. Brownell says for a car to make a wrong turn, as police have said, is unusual since the area is private. I was wondering why the guard over here didn't stop them and uh, direct them, you know what I mean? Because they always have a guard in that shack over there. Fred Ramos drove down from Bristol and was upset to learn that no one survived, especially since the car landed in four feet of water. The pressure, right? Uh, they can't open the doors and then they try to break the windows and and they, you know, they can't seem to break the windows, and I hope I'm never in that uh, circumstance. Now, we are still waiting to hear from police exactly how this accident happened and why. We have been asking a lot of questions about workers here at the shipyard, but while this is under investigation, police are not giving us any information, nor will they give us the IDs until they notify the next of kin. Reporting live from Newport with the Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shara, Eyewitness News.